Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever you might be watching. This time we'll continue our look at VLOOKUP. Here in this particular file you can see that I have a list of product codes down here on the left in column A. They match the product codes over here in the uh, matrix with the product name which match matches of course the product uh, code. Uh, I have a particular quantity and what I want to do is to have Excel look up the price of uh, each of those items here in this particular table of information. I then want to multiply the quantity by the price and also I want Excel to show me the warranty in years. So I've already entered the formulas, let's have a look at them. Here in the price my formula looks like this, equal VLOOKUP I want Excel to look up what's in A4 and then have a look over in H4 down to K10. Uh, look in the third column for the price, hence the number 3 in the formula and I've used the word false in the formula because the product codes are not sorted in any uh, particular order. So when I double click on the autofill button here I see that because there was uh, information in the column to the left uh, that saved me dragging down I just had to double click and uh, the various items were filled in so just looking at the first one here uh, Excel looked at the product code here TX11453 and said OK uh, the, in column 3 I've got to put in the uh, price of $14. In the next cell down it looked there in um, column 3 again and it said uh, for AC3234 the price was 2150 and so on and so forth down the column. The warranty in years works in a very similar way in, except this time I simply have to tell Excel and the VLOOKUP formula up here to look in column 4. So look at what's in A4, go over here into the uh, matrix, into the table with the data in it, have a look in the fourth column, 1, 2, 3, 4, and the warranty in that case is 0. So when I autofill that down, it automatically fills in the information for me. I couldn't double click in that case because there was nothing in the cells in the column to the left. Now the value, what I've done here, I've, I've used an if statement and I said if D4, this cell, has nothing in it then show nothing. That's the second argument. But if there's something in it multiply what's in C4 by D4. Now I can simply double click or drag down either way because there's information in the column to the left and Excel automatically fills it for me all of the values of the various products. Uh, I can add a total here. I'll just uh, add a sum function and uh, we'll drag down through the cells and press enter and there is my total. So uh, by using VLOOKUP I've been able to fill in the prices from the table, I've been able to fill in the warranty in years from the table and I simply used the column references, column number 3 and column number 4 in my formulas. So just a quick look at those again in the price, there's my VLOOKUP formula, look up what's in A4, uh, go across here and in H4 down to K10 and I had to make those uh, references absolute by using dollar signs so that I stayed within that area there. And similarly in uh, column F I said the same thing, uh, Look, but this time look in column number 4 for the warranty in years. And then of course you saw me write a formula down here, a sum formula in cell E19 to add up the value of all of the products. So nothing too difficult about it, just a matter of a little bit of logical thinking and um, 
Remember to subscribe if you haven't already done so and uh, there will be lots more Excel exercises uh, loaded in due course. Thank you so much for watching.